Hello guys, have you ever tried to play this game long time ago and just realized you couldn't get a better ship just like what is shown in the video? Well today I'm going to teach you how to get the strongest ship and a lot of money for free without going to the shores, collecting some crates while getting chased by the other pirate ships. So make sure to watch the full video in order not to miss any important and significant tips and details from the game. And also, if you haven't played this game yet, I encourage you to download this game and do exactly as what I did in the video in order to get a lot of money and a better ship. So watch and enjoy. Let's start from scratch. Let's go ahead and start the game. And as soon as we get into the game, go to settings to adjust the graphic quality to zero. This is so we could see the crates well, and also disable the rain for the same reason. You can also zoom in and zoom out with your fingers. If you're using computer, you can scroll up or down. Let's go ahead and open our sails so our boat could move. For your boat to move faster, press this play button. As soon as we get closer to the crates, we can turn it off back. Remember to take the sails down as you get into the area. Now you can take the cargo and bring them to your boat, and the game will instruct you to go to a nearby port to sell all the goods so you can have all the money. After you sold all the goods, the game will replace your old boat with a new one. After that, the game will instruct you to fix the boat and find another crate in the map. Now you can just do the same thing, close these instructions, open up the sails, and press the speed up button. Watch out for those barrels! Just be careful not to hit those explosive red barrels. Now you can take all the cargo and bring them back to the port. Now you can go ahead and do the same thing, just sell all your cargoes and the game will instruct you to buy as much cannonballs as you can. Now this time, we will be attacking a pirate base so we can have our own base, so be careful. Now follow the steps I show in the screen. You have to make sure it's auto fire. Man the guns! Way anchor! Cast anchor! Raise the flag! Way to go! We've just defeated our first enemy, but before we can go to check the base that we've just taken over, we'll first make sure to take the cargo back with us. Now we just had our first base, 
Go ahead and take all the cargoes from the warehouse into your boat and bring them into a nearby port. The reason why we go to a nearby port to sell our cargoes is because our base don't have yet a shop or a market. Now we'll go ahead and sell all the cargoes and get back to our base to buy a market or a shop. So now we don't have to go to a nearby port to sell all our goods. Now that you built the shop, click this and do not pay the cruise. Check your boat. I check the cruise and send away all the cruise. Now go ahead and press this button, wait for 3 days and do this 7 to 10 times each. The reason why we're doing this for a couple of times is to make our base produce a lot of cargoes, a lot of goods that we can sell in order to make money easily. And you might also be wondering why I sent away all the crews of my boat. The reason for that is when I wait for a couple of weeks, I don't have to pay them anything. In that way, I can have a lot of money to upgrade all my productions so I could get more money easily. Now we're just going to do this again and again 7 to 10 times until we finally upgraded all our productions to the third level. Now the next thing that you are going to do is to have at least 7000 gold to buy the first, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth map. After we bought the fifth map, which is the map of Florida, we are now going to fix our boat and put 10 crews in our boat and also remember to click the anchor so that you are ready to sail. This time we will no longer be waiting for a couple of days, instead we travel to Jacksonville towards Naparima and will do this 2-3 to three times each. After traveling back and forth from Jacksonville to Naparima, go ahead to your base and sell all your cargoes from your warehouse. Do the same process again by traveling back and forth from Jacksonville to Naparima 2-3 to three times until you get a lot of money. Now, after traveling back and forth from Jacksonville to Naparima a couple of times, Go back to your base, sell everything, and you'll eventually have two gems which you got or which you get from experience. Go ahead and upgrade the mayor and the governor. After upgrading this, you'll eventually be able to upgrade your production machineries to, uh, to the fourth level and to the fifth level. After upgrading all your productions, go back and do the same thing again, traveling from Jacksonville towards Naparima a couple more times to get more money enough to buy more maps to expand your exploration map. When you get another gem, go to the captain skills menu, go to the bottom, and select the duke stats and upgrade it. 
This way, you can now upgrade all your productions and machineries to the max. When you get another gem, go to the Captain Skills menu and upgrade the Corsair status. If you bought the map that cost 15,000, you can now go to Recipe instead of Naparima. If you now have 20,000 gold, go ahead to the shop and buy the map of the South Brazilian coast and go to Jacksonville to Santos. You can go there back and forth two times. Now after you have gathered enough gold, go to Santos and buy a ship that is called Frigate. This Frigate is the best Frigate ship in the game that is free. I'm just kidding, I'm not actually sure if this Frigate is the best Frigate that is free in this game. But I just really say that this is the best Frigate ship because it looks really cool than all the other Frigate in the game that is free. I just sold my old boat so I can now use my new ship. Also, don't forget to upgrade the boarding upgrades of this ship. If you want to upgrade anything more than the boarding upgrades, make sure to keep 30,000 gold with you. Because we will be using 30,000 gold to upgrade two bases to max. Because one base is 15,000 gold to be maximum upgraded. This time, you can buy a lot of travern so that people on your base will give you reports of the ships that you can capture nearby. This is my first attempt to capture a ship. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to capture the ship because of the wind. If this happens to you, simply restart the game so that the position of the enemy will change. This is because I have forgotten to upgrade my ship to the maximum. This is why I could barely get through my enemies because I am against the wind. Once again if this happens to you, simply restart the game so that your enemy might be in front of you or you might be uh, behind him. After we restarted the battle, let us simply return to find our enemy. And this time the enemy is easy to capture because it is just in front of us and our boat or our ship is not against the wind. This is what I'm talking about, real battle. Now we are going to be taking over another pirate base, but this time we will only be taking with us the Frygate ship. If you obtained another gem from the previous battle, go to the captain skills and upgrade the trap master ability. This will allow your boat or allow your ship to throw explosive bomb behind you so that the enemies or the pirates that are trying to capture you will explode before they can get to you. These pirates that are trying to get us are pirates that are protecting the base that we are trying to capture. 
That's why they will do everything they can to protect the base. But all we can do is drop some bomb so that they will explode before they can get us. Now, we finally have two bases. This time, we will get even richer. Let us go ahead and upgrade everything in this base, so that they will reproduce more cargoes that we can sell. But this is not the end. We will also capture the other base. That is why you have to keep 15,000 gold with you, so you can upgrade each base to maximum that is free you always have to make sure to buy as much gunpowder with you now we are ready to take over another base just do the same thing just distance yourself a little bit so that you can put some bumps behind you. And when your enemy gets closer, make sure to move a little bit so that they can surely hit that barrels. Wow, that was close. We need to put more explosive barrels. And there we finally have it. Now we will have more money than before. Let us go ahead and upgrade our base. If you have much gold, go ahead to Santo Domingo to buy more ship. After we get here, let us buy this boat and send it to one of our bases. Do this to our three bases but make sure to stay dock our frigate so it will not follow the ship that we are going to send here. We will not use this ship for battle but only so we can switch from there. Because if our base don't have a boat, we cannot switch from there. So that we can easily switch from there, we just have to put one boat in there and remove all the crews. So that we will not pay anyone or any passenger in our boat. Just do the same thing. Buy another ship and send it to one of your base. So you can switch from there. So there we finally have it. Please like the video if you liked it, share it to your friends so they can play this game again and see you guys soon.